everyone, the Bloon here, and today we're going to be doing another Impoppable map. So today will be Tree Stump on Impoppable. Again, we are not going to be using Monkey Knowledge. As you can see here, it's turned off. That's so everyone that's playing can follow along. Whether you're level 1 or level 100, you can follow along because you do not have any Monkey Knowledge used. And for those of you who subscribe, uh, please watch my last video. It shows exactly what Monkey Knowledge I have and why I use it and what you should use as well. And that way you can follow along with my earlier videos or just make it a little more easier because those are the ones I like to use and they're for a reason. So uh, if you guys want to check out that video, that'd be great. And then we can maybe in the future I'll start using Monkey Knowledge again. Just to, It's a little more fun that way with the Mana Shield and the extra free Dart Monkey, things like that. It just makes the beginning a lot more fun. So, but again, we will not be using it. I want everyone to be able to follow along. So we're going to be doing, let's see here, Impoppable on Tree Stump. For those of you who have not beaten that one, here's a video for it. As you can see, a um, little better lighting today. I was able to actually find some umbrella sticks and some lights, and so it's, uh, it helps a lot. I noticed my face was a lot more oily. I don't know. I guess people on YouTube wear makeup, they must, because I had to like sit there and wipe my face off and get all the oil off, so uh, I don't mind all the oily skin. And um, added my little my little thing up top here. It says Bloom Gaming, so trying to make this more official. I like to add a little bit more and more every time just to keep getting to that good point of being an official channel. So um, that's pretty cool. And I went back actually, and let's start with uh, Dark Monkey right here. Let's get this going so it's not an hour long video. Do a couple quick shots. So I went back actually to watch my old video that I actually have a lot of views on. It's about 4,700 views and that is my How to Be Impoppable BTD5. Cause that game is a lot easier for Impoppable. Um, I have my my strategy pretty much worked for like most maps, not all of them, but most. So I got 4,700 views, which I was like, wow, my video went viral. That's so cool. And I went back and watched it, or at least read the comments, which you're never supposed to do. Excuse me. I went back and read the comments, and there's people that a lot of people are like thumbs up, liked it, new subscriber, which I think a lot of you guys are subscribed because of that video. So that's really cool. Thank you. But a lot of people, of course, you got your haters, and a lot of people are saying. Um, um, just stupid, I suck, my strategy's terrible, which is fine, I don't mind, I don't get upset about that. But one of them pointed out to me and put the actual time that it happened, let's go for triple shots right there, uh, they pointed out to me that I got up in the middle of my video and charged my phone, like who does that? So I don't know what I was thinking, clearly I was new to videos and I did not know how to edit in the slightest because I left it in there on top of that. I had my video. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I was watching, I was sitting there cringing, like, oh my god, how does this have any views? I should take this thing off, but it has so many views, I don't want to, and it helps my channel grow. But yeah, I literally got up in the middle of it, and walked away, and then came back. And the editing's terrible, there's, I don't think there's any music, it's just a joke. But, I mean, you gotta start somewhere, so I can't hate too much. So, thank you for all those who still watch me after watching that video, and don't think I'm a total loser. So... Thank you guys, and let's keep growing this channel, and let's keep growing bigger and bigger, then maybe one day we'll have actual uh, quality of everything will be better. The video, the sound, everything. So just keep on trucking pretty much. So what we're doing here is, since we do not have our free dart monkey or our 200 extra cash, we don't have enough for Oban right off the bat like usual. So we had to go with dart monkey. I like to up him to third tier middle and second tier bottom. That means he can hit camos, and now we have our open who can hit leads. So that saves us up till what, 30 something? So that's pretty good. And Oban, um, and also, again, we have no monkey knowledge, so he doesn't start off at level three with his prickly patch. He just has nothing right now. So we gotta wait for that as well. So we're just gonna keep on doing what we're doing. And so monkey knowledge doesn't necessarily make you better or make it cheating, or a lot of people like to play without it, and I understand why. It's more pure that way. But at the same time, you have to sit here and wait in the beginning a lot longer than actually just get in the game and start playing. So it's up to you guys. If you guys think it's bad or too much, then don't do it. But I like it just because I like to get the game going. I like to already have a monkey tower or a banana farm right now. We can't because we're sitting here spending our money on this guy and then on Obi and all that kind of stuff. But we are going to get one and place him right here. And we are going to get a monkey farmer. You don't have to. It's not going to affect the game. It just I don't like clicking, especially on a popular. There's 100 levels. I don't want to sit here and swipe my finger for an hour. Since I am playing on mobile, I do not have it on the computer. I have a Mac, so they don't have it. So I would like to get a monkey farmer. Again, that's just my personal choice. You don't have to, but they're not that expensive considering how much you're going to make when you beat this. So let's put him right 
here. Um, I think, right? That might work. So, I probably just wasted a couple spots, but we only need like four, maybe five. This is a beginner map, so you really don't need that much. Make sure you keep putting down your little prickly patch because we don't have a mana shield. If we lose one life, we're done. So we don't want to mess up and get a little too greedy with our money like always. So put down that prickly patch. Make sure he gets that thing down. And our next one is going to be a... Let's see here. We are going to put... What do you guys know? A sniper. It's always a sniper. But put him in the middle of this tree. For this map, that's the most important thing. Because if you put it here, he's blocked. Put him there, he's blocked. That tree sees all. And we don't like Super Monkey, so we're not going to put him up there. So really, you really don't need too much up there, so he will be a good candidate for the Tree Stump King of the Hill spot. And next we're going to get Faster Firing. So again, we have one banana farm over here. It's not a lot, it's not that much, but you know, we're not going to get too crazy. Because our Magician, like in our last one, that Magician is a beast. And I wasn't able to make a video this weekend like I wanted about how amazing the Magician is. but. I will soon enough, and in the meantime, he's awesome, just take my word for it, and we're going to use him again for this one. We're going to go 5th fi tier Magician and just destroy that purple thing like it's nobody's business. And let's see here. So we got our Sniper. I want another Banana Farm. Let's see here. Of course it's not going to fit though, we got to sneak it in there. Oh, I saw it. Hang on, hang on guys. Okay, that's just a waste of time. Let's go over here then. So we might be able to only get two or three, or three or four, I mean, but we'll see. That's a little ridiculous. So we're at 32. Um, we are going to have a Moab coming soon, but again, I want more money. We always want more money, right? So let's go for one more banana farm, and let's put down the prickly patch. Prickly patch. I kind of placed these bad. I don't know if we're gonna have enough for all this, honestly. Because that's only going to be able to fit one... Oh, man. I messed up on these placements. Don't do what I did, but who cares? We don't really need to. I might be able to fit one more... Can I get rid of this tree? I can't even get rid of the tree? Okay, okay. Bad call on my part. Don't do what I just did. We're probably going to have to sell one. Move that over as far as we can. Um, but first, we don't, we don't need to worry about that right now. We need to get this guy up to third tier bottom, second tier top. That's going to take down our Moab like always. Put down your prickly patch. I don't even know where it went. Oh, there it is. Okay, we got our camos coming. Man, this is, oh, wow. I forgot about camos too. Let's throw this guy down here just in case. We don't want our camos to take us over. We only have one guy popping. So I know it's a little noob move to throw them in there like that, but again, micromanaging is you gotta do it sometimes, micro game. Put down your prickly patch, there we go. Remember guys, slow down a lot too. Slow the game down, you don't have to be a speed demon to get through it. Yes, it's more fun to get through it faster, but you also don't wanna lose. So like right there, I saw that the camos were coming a little too quickly for my liking, so we threw down just a ninja. We didn't upgrade him at all, just threw him down there just to attack those camo regrows because Regrows are sometimes a little tough for us because this on this map it takes such a long time to get back to our balloons. Next thing you know, you you're just taking them, you're getting hit by them. They're growing back to greens, and now you're bad. But as you can see, we got our third tier little monkey over here in that tier right there. So we are set. Um, if we can't fit another banana farm right here, I if we can't fit it like right in this area, I think we're gonna have to sell one banana farm. Uh, we need at least four. Well, I want four. So let's see. Um, can that fit right there? Oh, awesome. Oh, we're good then. No worries, guys. No worries. As you can see, we're not even watching the balloons. It doesn't matter. They're going to take them down. Our sniper is a beast. And if you haven't learned yet or do not agree with me, you should because he's a beast. We do have four banana farms by level 40, which is good. So now we're going to upgrade this guy to maybe third or fourth tier top to take down those purples that are going to be coming at 45. I think it's 45. But the purples are a little scary, so let's just knock them out of the way just up front. We don't want to have to micromanage too much. We want to be prepped. I like prepping more than playing. Uh, it just makes it a little more easier. So we do have a fourth tier ninja. We're good to go for a while, so we are going to focus on getting all four of these banana farms up. And if you watched my last Impoppable video, I think it was... Was it Park Path? I don't remember the last one, but I also showed you guys that... Oh, it was Town Center, that's what it was, because I used the, the sub. 
And the sub with that missile, the homing missile that destroys the Moabs is insane. And you saw two of them take down the purple machine. So that is a very, very, very cool, like hidden, not hidden strategy, but most people don't use it. And so that is a very easy one. And whenever you have water, throw that guy down there and just bomb the last guy. And it's, it's super simple. But for this, again, we don't have water. Um, we could actually use this water, like this little rafting thing, you know, little balloody thingy. But again, not everybody has those, so I don't want to be cheap. Uh, how many do I have? Six of those. Why do I have six? I don't even know. I haven't used one of my instant monkeys yet. No, not a single one. I just feel like that's super cheap. Monkey knowledge, at least you earn it and stuff, but those you just kind of get and it's completely random how you get them. So I feel that they're a little cheap. Uh, we do have four fourth tier or third tier banana farms and oh 49 is the hard one huh are we gonna be okay um, yeah we'll be fine i wasn't paying attention i like to talk so now what we're going to do is we are going to get a mage and we're going to put him right next to our sniper reason being is because he has guided missiles so as long as you can get this his little bubble close enough to that top he can go after moabs and Everything like it's nothing. So there you go with that. See, so any Moab that comes on the screen is going to start attacking pretty instantly. So we are good. And now we're going to get 12,000 for him. Or, let's see here. We want, can we fit another one? How far does he reach? Right there, right there. Let's see here. I feel like I can get one in there. Okay. Okay. It's just a little ridiculous. I just want five banana farms, but I guess not. So you do what you can do. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to get that 12,000 first just so we know we're safe. Um, I don't like to, I would like to get 22,000 first so I know we're super safe with money, but I'd rather be super safe with the balloons because they are going to start coming in hordes here soon. And I don't want to let you guys down and lose. And 12,000 is not that far off. So after we get that 12,000, we're going to take a little break here and just let the game do itself. And we're going to collect some money. That's what we're doing. So there we go. That thing's going to do most of the work for a while. I don't think we're going to have any issues until level... I don't even know what level. So what we're going to do is wait for 22,000. That's what we're doing. So just chilling out, hanging out, drinking some Pepsi. And yeah, I don't see any, maybe something will pop up, but I doubt it. Now, as you can see too, we do have Oban's tree and Oban's tree is a boss. We all know that and it can take down the entire game. So um, I would definitely use him. Put down that tree as soon as your tree comes or my, in my case, it's a squid or an octopus, I guess. It only has six legs. So I don't even know what you call that thing, but what are you gonna do? Woo, this is getting real crazy guys. We're not even, we're barely halfway there. So yeah, so but again, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for subscribing. If you've made it this far, you're awesome. I know some people just turn it on, uh, say who's this, who is this fool, and turn it right back off. But for those of you still here and they're actually using the strategy and it's working for you, and you like the video and you comment, you guys are awesome. You know who you are, and I really appreciate all the support. I'm gonna keep going, guys. I'm seriously just gonna keep going until we're. Oh, let's upgrade this one. Um, I'm just gonna keep going until I have as many as. Let's go for like Super John Bombo. I know I'm not as good as him and probably won't be and he's really good at the whole videos and he's just good at the whole thing, but I would love to have 450,000 subs. That would be so cool to play this game that I've been playing since I was young. And you know, as I get older, I feel a little nerdy playing it, but the fact that it's just, it's just an awesome game and have people actually watch me play it is really cool. So I'm gonna keep going as high as I can, get as many followers as I can and it's gonna be a a cool ride so I hope you guys can all join me and keep joining me for those who have already subscribed and I really appreciate the support um, let's see here we have 13,000 I don't like how close they're getting uh, let's do this put this guy right here it's actually actually okay so uh, don't do that if you've already did it it's not a big deal to sell them again we have a lot of money what we're going to do is we're going to get our tower first because we want to add more piercing and all that power to everybody. So I want him to hit the mage and I want him to hit the sniper. So I want the sniper to see camo. Let's do this one. Bigger radius, jungle drums, um, regrow blocker, and the scanner. 
you don't need to go scanner really, but it helps to have the little sniper dude have camo popping because he's just a monster. And now we're going to throw this guy here. Put him as far as you can. Just put him over here actually. Because we only want him, because as I've said before, he only hits really two guys well. If you give him more than two people to throw his little potions at, it just gets overwhelming. and It's just, you don't have enough potion on one guy at a time. So go fourth tier for this guy. And again, put it right there in that little bubble so he's only hitting your sniper and your wizard or whatever two towers you chose to have there. Just because you're mostly your powerful towers. And as you can see, this guy's hitting 38,000 and he's hitting 40,000. So they are our most powerful towers. Um, ninjas right up front only hit 22,000. Obin, I think, is 20,000. I don't know if they count his octopus as kills. They should because it's a monster. So now we're going to be good for a while again. We did spend a lot of money. But it's not that big of a deal. We passed 63. I didn't even realize it came through, so it must have not been that hard. Um, let's upgrade all these guys. Let's go to the middle. You can do this at any time. It just um, how banana farms work is the longer you have them, obviously, the more you're gonna make. So if you buy them or if you upgrade them at the very end, let's say close to 90, you're not gonna make as much as you could getting them earlier. So you want to max as fast as you can. And you keep putting down your tree or your octopus and your your tickety tack, those little brimble bushes, those are pretty awesome. And watch the money roll in. You can see the sniper just destroying because now the sniper has this guy who, you know, this little potion right here. I always use it, but I don't really show you guys. It's just extra strong brews, even more powerful effects than the target lasts even longer. And what it's doing is it gives monkeys extra damage, range, and attack speed. So you can't beat it for a $4,000 upgrade on that top one. It's really just, it's a powerhouse. And you um, pair that with this tower. You just got a little unstoppable machine and I'm really I really want to do that video so I can show you guys I think I'll be my next video I want to show you guys on sandbox mode exactly how powerful the wizard is on his own the fifth tier wizard and then I want to throw on with just the alchemist and then I want to throw on just the tower and then do tower fifth tier and alchemist all together to show you how strong those three towers really are together it's really cool how much extra little power they give you and they're just a the little beast mode monster and you, I don't know. You, it's way better than a super monkey. It's way better than the Apache helicopter. And it's definitely way better than the Spectre. Everybody knows that. So. Okay, so we're going for our third banana fallon. Banana factory, sorry. Get that tree out there. Sorry, I do the tree instinctively. I don't even pay attention when I'm hitting the tree. Um, I've been, I know I've said this before, but don't put down the tree or the octopus if he hasn't been touched yet. Because the more he brings in, the more bananas you're going to get when you get a new one or when he breaks. So I end up wasting mine all the time. Don't do that. Look and pay. Actually, pay attention. Just um, I don't, you only get so much. I can only do so much and play and talk at the same time. It's actually a lot harder than it looks. I know I'm a big dork and I could be doing better and I know I get a lot of negative comments on that stuff. What the heck did I just sell? See what I'm saying right there? Hit the wrong button. Don't do that. Noob move. But yeah, so it's a lot harder to talk and play at the same time. So <laughs> it really is. I don't know why. So I make a lot of mistakes. but. You, you luckily have the ability to rewind or pause or turn off the video completely if I'm leading you completely down the wrong path. So um, you can also skip ahead, what I would recommend if you made it this far in the video, you can skip ahead to say the end, see what towers I have there and say, oh, okay, those are the towers I need at the end. I'm going to get there my own way to make it a little bit more fun and challenging rather than just following exactly what I say. Because I noticed too, I had a lot of comments saying that um, I led them down the wrong path and they disliked me or they stopped following because they did my strategy and didn't work. Now, I mean, as you can see, I'm pretty transparent on everything. I'm not, there's no cheats in here. There's nothing crazy. As I've said before, the balloons do come out differently. So sometimes the balloons may not fall the same way twice because, you know, I've, I've played the same level twice in a row to prove that it did. So, and even just placing the tower a little bit off where you did, he might not hit that third balloon that he did before. And then someone might lose because of that. And now I'm the bad guy. So, uh, long story short, you, can, you follow it to a T as best you can, but there is going to be some variances from game to game. So do the best you can. If you're having trouble, um, blame it on me. That's fine too. I'm not worried about it. And we're going to go for that 38,400 arc range. And we already have it. Now watch this, guys. This is just insane. Watch this. Watch this. Done. Like that thing is just a mauler, and he does it all on his own. You really don't need anything else there. 
So now for the next 20 levels, he's going to destroy the entire game. And we're going to sit here and rake in money without even playing, not even doing anything. We're just sitting here raking in passive income on our banana farms. And when we sell them, we're going to make even more. And we have almost 100 grand sitting right here. We have 85,000 roughly just sitting here, which is awesome. So the next thing we're going to get is... Um, I do want to remove those fortified. Again, okay, just disclaimer right here. At this point, you can do whatever you want. Um, the Archmage will most likely... Sorry for that Australian accent right there. I'm slipping up. Um, the Archmage will take down the purple on its own. I can't tell you exactly where. I'm thinking around this little area is what I've seen in sandbox mode. But um, the Archmage will do it and take it down. And you will be fine with just the Archmage and the Alchemist and the Sniper and this guy. You'll be fine. So anything else after this point is whatever you want to do. Have fun with it. Go to Super Monkey all the way to the Golden God. Whatever you want to do. But what I'm going to do is because I want it to be a little easier up front. I'm going to take him. Put him right here in the middle. And I'm going to go all the way down to remove those fortifieds as I've showed you before. Because they're really annoying. And then so any fortifieds that pop up he'll take them down. As you can see the bandaid. The fortified is those band-aids looking things I you can see around the Moabs. Archmage does it on his own, but just in case they don't make it that far, we got our little bomber over there doing it. I put him in range of the tower so he could have a little bit more power to it too. What's this one do? Super hot burning stuff melts through five layers of blue in each shot, burns more than plus for extra damage and DDT. Okay, let's do that too. We got 54. No, I don't want to go that crazy. We don't need 54,000, but I do like, so I am going to use, I don't know what it is about the mortar, but I really like him. So we're going to go bigger look at that we just want the biggest one. Oh wow with faster reloads that thing's just a destroyer of worlds so we are definitely good to beat this so we got 10 levels left of really nothing going on so keep spending that money have fun with it try new towers out if you haven't before um, and what I like to do too the one I before I had all of them maxed out to like all their levels all these were upgraded and everything um, if you still have some that you haven't unlocked yet what I recommend too is throwing them down now because they'll get free experience for the next 10 levels. Uh, you can do it back on 80. Just toss it down. Let them, let them hit stuff, you know, because then they'll just get some points up, get their more experience, and eventually they'll have all of them unlocked. That's what I did for a while until they were all. Because, I, you know, I always didn't use the glue gunner, but it was easy to unlock them because I would just put them down and let them do his thing for a few levels. And next thing you know, I had them unlocked fully. Pretty cool. Um, what's the next thing we're going to do? So again... We have pretty much not unlimited money. We can't buy everything because I think that one super monkey upgrades like ungodly. What is that thing like? Six hundred grand. Yeah, we don't. We're not gonna even go for that. But we have you know eighty five something over here, and then we have you know another seventy eight in just pure cash, and then we can sell the biggest one things like that. So we have a lot of money. So you pretty much can do whatever you want. This is a beginner map, and it is easy. So it's more fun, and just throw things down, guys. Try them all out. Let's do. Okay, one that I really like is, I do like the Ice Monkey, I don't want to put him down because then he'll get in the way of my Alchemist. Um, oh, if you guys haven't used them, this guy's really fun too. I think I was showing him in my other video, but if you just throw this little guy down and then go like all the way down, he's a cool little dude. And uh, you get these big old Moabs and BFB zombies, the walking dead over here, just coming back down the path the opposite way, destroying worlds. It's really cool. So that's a fun one. Or another one I like to use too, because, okay, so I had mentioned that the Archmage is way better than the Apache, but if you go Apache all the way up, so 54,000, come on, we're almost there. Um, almost there, okay. If you go all the way, this thing mauls too. So it really, it's just, an, it's intense. Just watch when that purple guy comes, you're gonna be like, wow, that was just, that was too much, guys. That was way too much, way too quick. And it is, it gets really easy after a while. After you play a few maps, you'll understand a few strategies. You'll have a, you'll have your own few characters that you love and you just use them over and over. Like my Archmage, look how much experience this guy has. Three million experience because I just use him over and over and over and over. And you can see why, he's just the destroyer of worlds, especially with his little zombie buddy over here. Ozzy Osbourne in the little Archmage chair just send him BFBs and Moabs back down the path saying get out of here. So, but watch this purple guy. We're going to slow it down to see this thing get destroyed before the first turn. Watch this. So the Archmage, we got this little bad boy here. We got the tree of 
death. We got the biggest one, fortifying balloons. We got just every, let's get this guy. Forget about it. Let's get Super Monkey Fan Club. We want it all. Super Monkey Fan Club. Oh, it's not gonna reload in time. Let's get this guy too. Let's get the biggest one of this one. I don't know what it does, but we're gonna get it. Just get everything. Ah. So unfortunately, it didn't take it down past the first turn, but really doesn't matter. Archmage will do it all right now, and so will the big guy. So. We are going to beat this level, and it's going to be pretty simple. And as you can see with the um, Ozzy Osbourne mage, he only sends out death zombies after they've been killed. So in the last level, or when you're fighting, let's say, level 80 with the ZOMG, it's only going to take it after the ZOMG goes down, and then you have the BFBs to fight. So keep that in mind. Don't use them as a main for a boss. You can't, because like I said, you're not going to be able to take down purple with just the Ozzy mage. You're going to need your arc mage in there to kill it. So, and you're thinking, oh, why didn't you get like 300 Archmages to destroy them instantly? You can't. You can only have one fifth tier of one. You can only have one set of a fifth tier at a time. So, you can have the Archmage at the top, and you can have Ozzy at the bottom, and the one in the middle for that fire dragon thing. But you can't have one. You can't have more than one of each. So, again, thank you guys for watching. This has been fun. You can see what you can do with all that money. Try it your own way. After I think level 70, it kind of just goes on its own after you get that Archmage. So just throw down your own stuff. Upgrade your more towers. Get that Sun God to 600 if you want. You can do it. I would just put more, put down more banana farms a little earlier on. We could have gone a lot more. Just you'd have had to like play with it and hit the bananas and pick them up. But who cares? Just throw them everywhere. Get seven or eight or nine or 10 banana farms and just get that 600 grand and get the super Sun God and see what he can do. And uh, yeah, guys, so thank you guys for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for those who are still sticking around after watching my earlier videos that are just plain trash. I appreciate it, guys. You guys are awesome. You guys keep me going. If I didn't get any more subscribers, I wouldn't make any more videos. So it's all your guys' fault that I'm here, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, guys, and I'll see you next time.